Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are taking a look at the official companion guide for Animal Crossing New Horizons. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So my companion guide arrived today and I've pretty much been looking through it all morning. First impressions are great, I have to say. Anyway, I figured it would be cool to do a bit of an overview of what you can expect from this guide, maybe a kind of mini review or something like that. And at the very least, I hope this helps some of you if you're on the fence about picking one of these up for yourself. First off, this is of course the Animal Crossing Companion Guide and produced by Future Press and you'll be glad to know it's officially licensed so has been signed off by Nintendo so you know all the content will be accurate which is good. This book is absolutely ginormous, it's almost a four size and has well over 400 pages rammed and I mean rammed with content such as mini guides, storylines, lists, lists of lists, recipes, character collections and even a TV guide. It's absolutely crazy. So before we get too spoilery and take a look inside, I would happily recommend this to any New Horizons player out there. And actually, even if you can't play the game, this is a great book to flick through. So if you like guides as much as I do, this is a must have. I'm giving this companion guide a nine out of 10. It's almost perfect. Of course, a book of this side would have definitely been better as a hardback, but the reason I didn't give it a 10 is because it's missing all of the update content, which obviously can't be helped given the new updates will be distributed in the future. But it does mean that in a year's time, this book could be out of date. For example, the bunny day isn't mentioned that I saw and neither is Earth Day that's coming up but with that said it's not really a big deal it covers all the foundations and every item in the game on release so it is 100 a must-have guidebook anyway i wasn't sure how best to present this so we'll just take a look at some of the pages so if you're not here to see the contents of the book or want to keep things in the game a surprise please consider this your spoiler warning i recommend leaving the video now but please leave a like before you do so to begin with, this is the contents page. So it gives you an excellent idea of what to expect from this guidebook. As you can see, everything is divided into separate sections or chapters and organized in a way that kind of parallels the progression of the game. Starting with an introduction to the deserted island getaway package and ending with a massive collector's catalog that lists every single piece of furniture, every poster, fossil flower, everything. It's really awesome. So here is an example of when you first arrive to the island, the guidebook goes over the character creation and brushes over how things work in New Horizons, such as how time works and things like that. It also brushes over choosing an island, but does also have a huge section on island maps and types of maps available later in the book. Of course, this section is more about the introduction to how things work and the features that are in the game rather than the in-depth guide that's later in the book, but it's still super helpful to follow when you first start playing or to check back if you've been playing since the release. Here is a page I really found interesting and is an example of some pages that cover shops in huge detail. This one is all about Nook's Cranny. It includes a bit of a backstory and covers pretty much everything you need to know. The interesting part though is in the paragraph at the bottom of the first page that explains the criteria needed to upgrade Nook's Cranny. And this is something that no one really knew for sure until now. So if you are wondering to upgrade Nook's Cranny, you need to buy or sell a total of 200,000 and have had Nook's Cranny open for 30 days. This is an excellent example of the kind of tidbits and useful information you'll find throughout this guidebook. Here is another example of the sheer amount of information provided about shops and buildings. This is obviously about Dodo Airlines, which goes over the characters, their purpose and the features of the building. The thing I like the most about this page is the little list of DAL merchandise rewards that we can unlock. I never knew there was a whole collection of items to get. Again, super helpful. Next, we have an example of an entire section about a special NPC. This one is of course about Label or Label, however you prefer to pronounce it, which provides us with everything we need to know about the fashion aspect of the game. Specifically, it lists all the style sessions and all the types of outfits she looks for before rewarding us with tickets and clothing. This list can then be used along with the clothing lists in the catalog at the back of the book to get the best outfit. All special characters have pages like this, making it super easy to look things up. 
It's really difficult to know what to show you exactly, but the guide has a section on pretty much everything. Here we can see it talks a bit about mystery tours and the campers, and then it moves on to a whole section dedicated to showing every single villager currently available in New Horizons, which is cool. You'll get to see what their house starts off looking like, their default saying, and stuff like that. Again, super useful stuff. Next, the guide starts to cover the main storyline, which according to this guide, starts when you arrive on the island and ends when you watch your first KK Slider concert and everything in between. Of course, there's a whole ton of stuff you can do in New Horizons outside of this, but this is essentially the story behind the getaway package, which is nice. I really wanted to show you guys this page too, which covers in a lot of detail what Nook Miles are and how they're used, which is great if you haven't played yet, but also includes every single available Nook Mile achievement and what it takes to unlock it for those who have, including the amount of miles you get, which is really cool. I mean, it just blows my mind the sheer amount of detail in New Horizons when you actually think about it, not to mention what's covered in this book. Here is another interesting page where we get to see some of the seasonal crafting materials, in particular pine cones and acorns, which are already available in the southern hemisphere it seems, which I didn't know. So if you are in the southern hemisphere, please tweet me a picture, I'd love to see some. Next we have some pages that are probably worth the value of this book by itself, and that's a crossbreeding guide for flowers and covers every single permutation of flower available to breed any hybrid in the game. This is a super useful guide, I've seen some stuff like this online already but they tend to include some mistakes or have half the flowers missing, so I was super happy to see this included. It even includes a little price guide for the flowers, it covers everything. Moving on from flowers, it starts to talk about the collections and what stuff there is in the game to catch. Here is an example of some of the fish section. Just like the Islander section, it goes over everything you need to know about every single fish currently in the game. We even get to see what tank they'll live in, should we place them in our homes, and also includes the values of the fish. I mean, this is definitely the most detailed Animal Crossing guidebook I've ever owned. Now we get to some more familiar content, the regular fishing tourney and bug offs get a breakdown with sections on the rules and what prizes are up for grabs. But the most useful thing here is the list of event days. It seems the first bug off will be held in June in the Northern Hemisphere. Unfortunately, the Southern Hemisphere will have to wait until December. But yeah, not too much to say about this really. It's pretty similar to the special NPC sections we've already seen, but instead focuses around the in-game events. Next up is a section about DIY recipes, including every single recipe in the game, which is mind blown. This example is towards the end and shows off all of the tools. Who knew there were so many? This section is not to be confused with the giant catalogue at the end of the book that lists the actual items. This is just a list of the recipes and includes the craft materials needed as well as the value for each item once crafted. This is a super interesting couple of pages that I also wanted to share with you all. It confirms Feng Shui is in the game, just like it has been previously, and goes over every detail you need to know about increasing your happy home score. This feature has always been fairly complicated, but this breaks it down and explains it really well. This might be my favourite section of the book, just because it's so useful. It also works alongside the list of items at the end of the book, so you know what category every item in the game falls under in order to do the feng shui in your home. And of course, just like the game, the last chapter covers terraforming and the different functions of landscaping. It goes over everything you need to know along with some techniques of using the landscaping tools. And as you can see, shows off a whole bunch of examples, which will help you if like me, you're not very creative. And at this point, believe it or not, we are only halfway through the New Horizons Companion Guide. The next section is the Nooks Collector's Catalog, and as I mentioned, it's massive. It lists every single clothing item in great detail with a picture and its value, but probably the coolest aspect of this guide is that it includes all the colour variations too. Actually, that's not the coolest thing. The coolest aspect is the detail included on each listing, like things for labels fashion sessions and the feng shui that we just talked about. Knowing and remembering this stuff would be so difficult without a guide like this. 
Here is an example of what some of the craftable items look like in the catalogue, which just like the clothing items is packed with information. I can't even begin to describe how cool this book is, at least for me. I'm not sure it's possible to be a completionist in New Horizons, but if it is, this book will be the only way to keep track of your progress. It even has all the bug and fish models that you can earn from Flick and CJ. And here is something I just had to show you before we start to wrap things up. This is the New Horizons TV guide. How cool is that? Just look at the detail and the amount of TV shows there are. It's just insane and what a great thing to add to the guide. Just take a look at 3.33 on Saturday. The giant Nook Collector's catalog comes to a close with all the Animal Crossing posters and pictures available in the game. I don't know if there's any other ways of getting them, but the pictures are generally obtained from best friending villagers and posters from scanning Amiibo. So this is definitely a must have list. So yeah, I'm not sure what else to say about this guide really. Personally, I'm super impressed. It's very well written and really well made. Plus it's absolutely rammed with content. So if you're a fan of guidebooks like I am, this is a must have feel collection and definitely value for money. I know Ben from Crossing Channel helped write this book. So I just wanted to say a very well done and a thank you to him and the rest of the team. It's just a very good guidebook and I'm glad they took on this project. Anyway, that's probably enough from me for one day and that pretty much wraps up this video. So if you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe so don't miss out on any New Horizons news. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, you guys rock. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you got this far in the video, please comment guide. Just let me know you did, that would be super awesome. And please be sure to include what you think of this guidebook, what your general impressions are and whether or not you plan on buying it. I'd love to know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.